Hey and welcome to another video. Today I'm going around Home Sense, which I absolutely love. Um, so I will just be doing a walk through, um, like I do with kind of B&M or whatever, I'll just kind of walk around, do a bit of a voiceover and show you what I got at the end. So let's get to it. Starting off strong, there is this adorable outdoor garden swing, which I just thought was so, so cute. They also had the matching table and chairs, which you'll see in a second. Um, but they also had all these kind of fake flowers or indoor plants, which I guess if you were getting married and you wanted to use fake plants for decoration, then head to HomeSense because they had absolutely loads and you could kind of build them up yourself, make your own bouquets, things like that. Um, as you can see as well, loads and loads of pots and plants, I guess, either for the garden or for inside. Not quite sure what's happened with my camera there, but we'll just go with it. Um, hopefully it's still good enough. And um, yeah, just reams and reams of garden bits and bobs. Now we're coming into spring. I definitely need to be buying some garden things because now I have a garden. I can actually go out and kind of tidy it all up and make it look pretty, hopefully. <laughs> um, and then I noticed that they had this like huge range of Easter stuff, which I just thought was adorable. If you have kids or um, like nieces or nephews, they've got all these cute little kind of egg things and rabbits. I really like this cake stand, but I thought to be honest, the cake stand was too small. I make bigger cakes than that, so <laughs> um, I put it back down. But yeah, just really nice Easter kind of collection and display. So if you did want to decorate for Easter or have like Easter plates and things, definitely head here. Then they had this kind of random selection of stuff. I think it was maybe sale items, but um, like sofas. And uh, to be honest, I really want a new sofa because I don't find I was very comfortable. So <laughs> I may be coming back and persuading Harry to buy a sofa. Um, but loads of different lamps. Again, I still haven't bought the lamps for my dressing tables. So I was having a bit of a look to see whether they fit the bill, but nothing quite just yet. Um, and then a load of kind of little coffee tables and things like that. So again, just some more sofas and things like that. They had quite a lot of outdoor furniture, which if you saw my last video in B&M, I was shocked at how expensive they were, but actually how good price they were in B&M. Um, again, different range of things here and fairly good price compared to if you were to buy something new from, you know, I don't know, John Lewis or somewhere. Um, so yeah, everyone's kind of getting ready for spring, for being outside in the summer having barbecues, etc., which I am loving and cannot wait for. So yeah, a lot of outdoor bits and bobs for the garden if you have one. So I'm actually looking for a really tall mirror to put in my office um, that isn't gonna break the bank because the ones I want seem to be like 300 pounds and I do not wanna spend that on a mirror for my office. So <laughs> I had a quick look here, but nothing quite how I want it. So um, I might come back and have a look again because I didn't realize they did quite big mirrors I knew they did like wall mirrors but I didn't realize they did like four floor freestanding ones and um, they also had all these kind of trays which are really in at the moment to put on like footrests and you can like style them up so loads there and again some lamps which I've had a look at still nothing quite matching or on the same level as the ones I've seen that aren't in stock at John Lewis but um, I will keep looking or just wait until they're back in stock um, but I did also really want a rug, so I wanted one of these kind of worn look ones. I don't, I can't remember what they're called, but um, they didn't quite have the right colours that I wanted. So in my office, without giving too much away, um, because I am doing a, I am like vlogging the whole thing, and once it's finished, obviously I will post. So without giving too much away, they just didn't have the right colours that I wanted for the room. Um, I have actually seen one in IKEA that I like the look of, so I might have to go to Ikea because I've only seen it online. Anyway, <laughs> enough about rugs and my office. Um, a load more lamps and again, a load more rugs. And I did actually stop for a while at this one because I thought, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, I actually think that was too big for my room anyway. But yeah, loads and loads of rugs. So if you did want one of these kind of like worn, is it like distressed? Are they called distressed rugs? I don't, know. I don't really know, but you know what I mean. 
and like usual they had like a million different blankets and cushions and different styles, materials, colours, you name it. Um, so I know we're kind of heading more into summer now but if you did want to buy them maybe they'll be in the sales soon and you can get them a bit more cheaper than if you were to buy them in the autumn winter which is what I'm planning to do I think. <laughs> So then just a quick run up the stairs to see what they've got up there. Hear me stomping away. <laughs> so um, they have a load of bedding and furnishings and I don't know, like I don't I don't really know what you call this, just like bits that you have around your house, you know, like finishing touches. Um, but again, they had quite a lot of fern furniture, like sofas and things like that. So I did kind of get a bit drawn in to the sofas. So as with most home senses, home senses, home sense eye, home sense <laughs> stores, um, they had a load of kind of pasta, sauces, food, wine, coffee, all that kind of stuff that they usually have that's, you know, shelf stuff, shelf life stuff. Um, so as always, they have quite a good selection of that. And again, all of their kind of crockery and plateware. I'm really sorry, I don't know what's going on with my camera. It seems to have like unfocused um but i saw this le creuset jug and i was very tempted to buy it but i wasn't quite sure on the color we have a few different le creuset bits and i don't know what i don't know they're not all the same color but like the butter dish and we've got like a tea coffee and sugar thing they're the same color so i wasn't sure what to do really anyway i just seems still carrying it around with me before i decide what to do with it um but yeah <laughs> got some tea towels and some like placemats and coasters so they had some snazzy bowls and plates and bits and bobs here as well um which if you want to go a bit more bold then you definitely can um and then like i said all the kind of coffee bits and stuff that you need and like a million mugs harry loves getting a mug when if he saw this he would have at least picked one if not more um I did again, I saw some more Le Creuset ones, but they were just like a plain cream. Um, and yes, I could have managed to get four because in our household we can't apparently not smash any. So we don't actually have any sets of four of anything anymore. So <laughs> I thought I could have got a set of four, but they were just quite basic. And I was like, well, I don't just want to buy them because they're Le Creuset. Like I want to buy them because they're nice and they go and I like them. Um, so yeah, I did not buy them. Okay, so extremely, extremely annoyingly, I've had to just cut out the last three minutes because it was so blurry and my own stupid fault for not even looking at the camera whilst I'm filming. I mean, it was worse than this is currently right now. Um, so tip for future, actually look at my camera when I'm filming to make sure that it's focused properly. Well done, Claire. Um, anyway, it was just a load of like pots and pans and casserole dishes, etc, etc. You've all been before. You've all seen it. Um, and then I actually have it, had a little sit down on this sofa to see whether it was comfortable enough to take home. Not that I was actually about to buy it there and then, but you know, for future reference. If you saw my last week's video, my B&M haul, you would know that I am looking for a basket to put in, to put a plant into. Um, I had no idea just the amount of baskets that there were i mean full stop let alone just in home sense there were so many sizes shapes styles colors the lot so when i found my plant i will definitely be coming back to get a basket from here again they have all the bedding you could want or need and it's always at a really good price they had this clear sec clearance section here um, and then they've just got like the normal like different sizes at their normal reduced price i wasn't there to get much i just wanted to kind of see what they had in because there's a few things that i'm doing around the house that i wanted to get some inspo for um so yeah i'll show you what i got if you watched my video a few weeks ago you would have seen that i was reorganizing my walking wardrobe and i had to go and buy some hangers it was not enough hangers so i had to go and buy some more hangers so i just got these i prefer the wood ones but they didn't have any wooden ones so i just got these felt ones it was um 10 velvet hangers for 4.99 so i thought we'll go with that then i got now this sounds really silly but i hate chopping garlic i normally will use the um 
cheese grater, like the smaller set on them, cheese grater, but even still it it's infuriating and it makes your hands smell and it's gross. So for a while now I've been thinking I need to get a garlic press. Although the ones I saw in like Tesco or like online, like 15 pounds. Anyway, I got a garlic press, short, long story short. It was actually only supposed to be nine pounds, but I got it for five pounds. So I'm just happy I don't have to deal with the garlic anymore, to be honest. Then, right, I had not seen these before and maybe they're like an old thing and everyone's got them, but I've never seen them before. And I just thought they were amazing. Basically, I've currently got these bowls, which are really great. You can put them in the freezer, dishwasher, but you can't put them in the microwave. So when I'm in that office and I, if I'm taking food in, I normally microwave it because I rather would have hot food. But, and I know you can get like glass ones and I've had like other ones before that, and plastic ones that do go in the microwave. But I don't know, I've never seen these. They've got a little handle. They go in the microwave, the dishwasher, the oven, and the freezer and they're like it, it's actually for like soup i think is it called like a soup thing what's this one called soup thing oh yeah so i got two um they had all different colors and shapes and i just thought it was amazing and i know it says soup but you could easily put like chicken and rice or like pasta in here which is what i would normally stick to work oh my goodness because look it's quite deep like my fingers length deep how amazing. I'm so, so happy I found these. And they were only 3 99 each. And it's got like a date thing on. So if you're putting it in the fridge and you want to know when you... Is it a date or is it time? Oh. It has like a little date thing that you can put your date in. And they were originally... Oh, it doesn't say. No, it doesn't say how much they originally were. But they were 3 and I thought they were amazing. And... If I like them and use them as much as I think I will, I might go and buy more in other colours and styles. So yeah, but that's all I got from HomeSense. Um, I did like some of the sofas, I'm not going to lie. Maybe we go to HomeSense to have a look. I also want to get some new wine glasses, so maybe, I, maybe I'll do another one of these in a few months' time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching if you've got this far. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.